All right, let's get this started. It's 12 o'clock Pacific time, so let's begin this Q&A session. Um, really quick before we begin, I'd like to introduce the one and only Asimo3089. Hi guys, can you hear me? Hey! Cool. So yeah, I'm Asimo, 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 whatever you want to call me. Let's do this Q&A. my first question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. I so say before a... we begin, oh, sorry, go on. I say a CMO, but I don't really care. Okay, that's what I thought, but then I heard Alex call you as a mo, and I was confused. <laughs> All right, let's begin. So uh, the way this Q and A session will work, I'm going to shortly open up the Q and A submissions channel. Um, so that'll be where you submit your questions, and then if you are wanting to ask your question in the stage channel, by that I mean you will talk to us and actually use your voice and lead a microphone to ask a question, um, make sure you raise your hand for that. Um, so I'll be monitoring the Q&A submission channel. Let me open that right now. Let's get started. Uh, there will be a really long um, slow mode for that channel. So please only ask one question and make sure you don't waste your single message. Um, and there we go. It is open. And oh my goodness, <laughs> the questions are flooding in. Let me scroll up. I'll try to do this as best as possible. First person to ask questions. Um, yeah, we have a lot of people here. Yeah, what are we at? 735. Oh my. All right. You know, I wish there was a search function. This request to speak. So I apologize for any downtime as I search through this list. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go get started. I don't see this dude raising his hand. So Noah the King NL asks, how hard was it to develop Jailbreak? Uh, good question. Jailbreak was actually a lot of fun to work on. I, I feel like we had the hardest time around the first year of it because we were just so new to it and we weren't expecting the game to be so big. So for example, like when we wrote a lot of the code or built the map, we really thought the game would only last a few months at best. And so we weren't totally prepared for what it would turn into, but it, I think it really worked out. But yeah, the first year was kind of hard. And after that, it was really easy. Yeah, look where we at now. It's 2021. We're yeah, we have 5 billion visits. That's crazy. <laughs> All, right. All right. Cosmic Crocodile has a good question. And I just saw him raise his hand and I just lost it. Can Oh yeah. Uh, if you so raise guys, your hand, uh, try not to unraise it because it messes up the order and I can't find it anymore. Mm -hmm. There you are. All right, here we go. Let me invite you. I invited. Let's see, if this works. <laughs> wow, we have almost eight hundred people in here. Oh man. All right, Cosmic Crocodile. Um, you should be able to join. I invited you to speak. We cannot hear you right now. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, oh. There he is. Uh, can hey. you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. What's your question? All right. Well, it's actually two of them, but all right. Okay. Um, what was your favorite update to work on, and what was your least one? Ooh. Okay. So favorite right off the bat, I really loved working on the tomb update. We had so much time to work on it. We had good plans. We wrote documents to plan it all. Uh, just the tomb itself was cool to work on and like really different. It kind of feels like a different game. Least favorite. Hmm. Least favorite's usually the like bug fixing type of stuff. It's not like it's terrible, but it's just not a fun thing to work on. And I think the players can usually agree. It's like, it's not a new that feature or something. Sense. We're just working on bugs and stuff and it can be a little monotonous, but we don't really have bad updates. All right, thank you very much, Asimo. Uh, could yeah. I ask you something real quick before I go? Yeah, sure. Um, like caracals? Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what those are. They're like are, big cats. Big cats. Funny ears. Are, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'll just say yes. There you go. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Of course. It. Thank you for having oh. me. My name is Ayasimo. I love your game, man. Thank you. All right. Thank you for asking your question. All right. <laughs> I don't know what you just signed yourself up for, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't either. Uh, all right. Uh, cool Yoshi Luigi. That's for you, man. I know that guy. All right. So right off the bat, yes, you do know me because you've killed me like 50 billion times. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, um, the question I asked, I, I definitely didn't want to ask that, but I had a question planned earlier and the Cosmic's question actually reminded me of that question, which is honestly more important. Um, so in relate, relating to the bug fixing stuff, mm -hmm. um, when will the next one of those be and how often will they be because the bug fixes are very very important as we all know i know several people who have actually stopped playing the game because of the buggy nature of the game which kind of sucks so i thought i'd ask that yeah good question so we don't really plan them out like every six months or whatever we just do them once we kind of notice things are getting bad i don't we also try not to plan huge updates too far in advance. That way we can like quickly jump onto a month of just bug fixing. We're currently planning this month to be a little bit of that. Um, now that Alex is back or off from school and everything, I think we'll have tons of time for that type of stuff. And I will confirm, I, I'm pretty sure, unless the plans change, the Volt Bike should be revamped next update, among other things. And okay. I'd also love to do the uh, new bike chassis and a few other things. The vault won't go away. It's just like, we're going to revamp it, make it drive better. It'll have a new design. Maybe we'll use community creations for it. And okay. we'll refund players and they can buy the new one if they want to. Okay, that's very nice. Now, yeah. on to my, the question that I asked. Um, it was I'm pretty sure, um, of course, how did you, when will the next community creation season be? Because I don't expect it to be the next season. And then, um, out of curiosity, how do you feel about giving those players recogni recognition, like, in-game, like, in the form of, like, um, a tag or something, um, for them getting their stuff in? I know it was done here with a Discord oh. server, but I'm, bent, I'm talking about, like, in-game recognition, so... Yeah, That's we hadn't thought of that. Um, I can write that down. I think we could totally do like a VIP sort of tag, but maybe they get gold text instead or something. And maybe. I think as far as your other question, I think every season from here on out will be community created. It gives us so much more time to work on actual content. Wow. Like the tomb robbery was so nice because we can only work on the tomb robbery. We didn't have to jump over to vehicles and stuff. Awesome. Well, yeah, that's very, yeah, that's very epic, yeah. I heard that you um, had a, um, made, a, made a community creation season to give you guys more time to work on a team update. Such very nice. Yeah. That concludes it... my, cool. my time here. Sorry for Thanks for your you questions. Off, I'm, I'm just, I will now please. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. Next up, I don't think he's raising his hand, but Viv3k underscore 87 asks, how did you meet Bad CC? <laughs> we were introduced to each other through a mutual friend. Um, I was making a Tron bike, actually, back in like 2012, and I was looking for somebody to program it, and we got introduced to each other. And we've already, we've always been like the same personality-wise and everything, and just got along. Uh, we didn't immediately make Roblox games. We played Minecraft a lot for a couple years and stuff, but we we're always showing each other our own solo projects and it just made sense to come together and combine our efforts into something really cool. Awesome, yeah. who, who knew that partnership would continue all the way through? Today? Yeah, we never knew. All right, let's see, next question. Yeah, this is a lot harder than last time. There's so, so many people. <laughs> yeah, almost uh, 900. Oh, man. Let's break 1,000. Let's do it. I think 1,000 is the limit. Really? There's a limit to these? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. 
Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry if you can't make it in if it's too full. I'm sure someone's recording this, so I'll probably tune mm -hmm. in later on. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you want to talk about this one. I don't, oh, let's bring him in music playing. It's got an interesting question, not really related to Jailbreak. Yeah, sure. Uh huh. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I, I was actually in the QA with Bad CC, so this is exciting. Cool. So, uh, how is the Marvel game coming along? Oh, the Marvel game. That's something I really thought I would finish like a year ago, and it just didn't happen. I don't even know where I went wrong with that. I, my current plan is I'm going to bother Bad CC to help me program the rest of it, and it'll only take like a day or two, but my, I don't know. I just haven't programmed in like five years, and I definitely need somebody to help me do it. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Maybe this summer. Soon, TM. <laughs> yeah, soon TM for sure. I need to soon finish the track a little bit too, but... Yeah, That's I'm excited. I'm excited to play it. Thanks for letting me ask the question. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Moving on. Cool. Um, I don't think this dude's raising his movie. I don't. I don't watch movies enough to have a favorite movie. I don't know. I I love Tron Legacy. Obviously, I made a game after it. So let's go with Tron Legacy for now. All right. Hey, can I sneak in a third question? Sure, go. Let me see if sure. I can... I can't remember who it was from. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can find it. But what I remember it being was, have there, or are there any scrapped vehicles or robbery features that mm. you've thought of, maybe modeled a bit, and then gone, nah, I don't like this, and then scrapped it? Sure. Um, we can make that our last question. I wish we could find who asked the question. Uh, oh, I've, I found it. It was from Dumb Thoughts. Cool. <laughs> okay, so should we invite him in, or is that good enough? Are you able to, Carbon? Because I cannot locate this. <laughs> uh, yeah. let, let me have a look. Uh, bu, 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 bu. The problem is there's just so many people. Yeah, there are. 99 plus requests. Where are they? I feel like I'm going to be scrolling all day trying to find them. <laughs> uh, uh, don't worry. We could have just answer it, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, most yeah, obvious. I, I, re I reached the bottom of the list and didn't find them. <laughs> Okay, most <laughs> obvious would be uh, the power plant. We completely scrapped that and redid it for the better. And that was nice. Um, I'm trying to think of like mechanics wise. I don't, there's nothing memorable at least. I really thought we would have scrapped the ducking on the minecarts in the tomb robbery. I didn't think we'd have time for that. I'm glad we did. Um, the robbery was also intended... Okay, here's something with the tomb robbery. I guess it's just freshest in my mind. The original plan was to have you do like one or two randomly generated mazes and stuff, and then you get to the tomb, and then you have two or three more obstacles to reach the exit. Uh, Minecarts were never part of the plan until like two and a half weeks before the update, and it just seemed like a no-brainer, and that's when we reorganized it all. We took away the random generation part of it and we just decided to make it like three obstacles. So the spikes, the darts, and the bridge, and then the tomb, and then the minecart ride home. And I'm glad we did that. It worked out for the better. Awesome. Cool. I think that will wrap up this Q&A session. So keep an eye out for any future events. Thank you for everyone who asked your questions and thank you Simo for coming in here and doing the Q&A session and doing a voice reveal. I know a lot of people are excited yeah. about that. Yeah, thanks everybody. Um, Super great questions. I'm sorry if we couldn't get to yours. There's just like thousands of them. Yeah, so hopefully next time around we'll find a better system to do this, but thanks everyone yeah. for tuning in. I think that'll wrap it up. Any last words? Cool. Uh, no, that, that should do it. Thanks everybody. Have a good day. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in. All right.
take care now. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I'm not sure how to end this. <laughs>